show you the off-grid solar power plant. Let's see. So friends, all we need is solar panel. We bought three pieces at 100 watts per panel from Lazada. Then we needed MC4 connector. One is to three branch. That one. Two pieces. Then we connect the panel to MC4 connector. Mm. Positive to positive. Positive to positive. And there is the positive, focus the positive. Then positive, positive. Positive, positive. We have negative, mm, negative, negative, negative. Okay. Then each panel has 12 volts capacity. When we connect the MC4, we make sure that the negative terminal of each panel are all connected in one branch. I may show you. Oh, that the negative and then the negative uh, connector. Snap. Snap. Oh, and snap. Same thing here. Oh. Positive. Positive. Oh, positive. And positive. All in one branch. Huh? All in one branch. Okay. Negative and positive. Now that they are all connected, then we, we end up with a positive and one negative terminal. This is the negative, this is the positive. Okay. They are now at one place. Then we will need the solar cable around 10 meters. This one. That is the solar cable. Extending downwards. See? From here going down. From here going down we have 10 meters. So it is connected up to downstairs. Oh, now we snap the negative to the uh, uh, negative solar cable. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see if it's working. Oh, let's, go. let's go downstairs and see the connector. Friend, remember that these panels are also grounded. So you don't touch them. Now let us uh, show you the MPPT controller. This one. So this is MPPT solar charge controller. We bought that also from Lazada. This one. So my husband already uh, put it in a plywood here. The MPPT controller has three pair of input terminal. That one. Um, first. First pair is from solar panel. This one. That is from solar panel. Positive negative. And second pair is from MPPT controller to the battery. This one. Yan. Positive Control. negative. Yan. Trace me. Put again. I can't more a terminal. Okay. That one. You can maintain. Hmm. Okay. Third pair goes to MPPT controller to the DC load. Water pump. So the DC load goes to water pump. Okay. We will show you later our water pump. Or as you, if you watch our first uh, solar panels water system, we already showed there the our well deep well okay dc load means direct current load or battery operated electronics and machines which has positive and negative terminal now we connect 
the battery to the MPPD controller. So, it is already connected, friend. Positive to positive. Positive to positive, then negative to negative. The sample DC load or direct current. In our case, we have the solar pump. Oh. Now, the solar panel, panel is charging the battery. At 8 amperes. And 8.04 to going below amperes. Uh, let's to see if the MPPD controller is working. We have menus here, four buttons showing. Let's say go to the main menu. As you can see, the solar panel is charging the battery at 13.8 volts. It's still morning. Pero at noon time, this will go up to 14 volts above. Okay. And then let us see next. The solar panel has 20 volts. Charging the battery at 20 volts. And charging the battery at 2.30 ampere because it is morning. But at noon time, this will go up up to 20 amperes per hour. As you can see, battery is charged 100% already. Next, uh, the battery is dispensing 13.8 ampere to the load uh, volts. volts to the load. The load is our water pump. I will show you later. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, the, the last button is a switch if you want to send the power to the load. As you can see, watch that. Uh, I will press the button and then you can see the power going to the load. The light icon means the uh, MPPT controller is sending power to the load and our load here as you can see here is the uh, this wire to the uh, uh, solar cable go to the submersible pump in our well we will show you how it is done so friends this is our well as you've seen with our first vlog before this so, is the cable going to our MPPT solar panel and then this is the output of the water. submersible pump it is sending water here here sending water going up you stick to this it is going there <laughs> then you can see pump is full uh, the tank is full already so now it is sending water and it is already full. Our tank is already full. Yeah. Oh. Is that Superman? <laughs> so that's the tank. And oh, now it's Superman full. just passed by. And see, and, and let carrying Donald Trump. And now let us see how we use the same power from our battery to our appliances. So from the solar, solar energy is, uh, is transferred by this uh, solar controller to the battery. There, the positive and negative of the battery terminal should go to the positive and negative terminal of the battery and the battery as you can see is charged 100 percent so from the battery we transfer the direct current to the inverter so that it can be converted to uh, alternating current or electricity the same electricity that we buy from Meralco or from an electric company from battery to inverter it will produce 
electricity so we put the extension cord to get electric from the inverter and produce electricity so you see let us try to 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 open the electric pan and the refrigerator if it is working first if we will on the, the, the inverter first come here beautiful the on the inverter first Okay, you press the on of this nut inverter 12 volt, 1, 900, 1000 watts inverter. Then press it for a few seconds. You can see the display that uh, it's preparing to, to transfer the battery power to electric power. Frequency. Okay, so it is now prepared. So we now hook the... the, the the electric pan to our extension cord but it's working oh you see electric pan is working and the rep open the rep and show that it's also working so see <laughs> Let, uh, the light is on electric uh, refrigerator is working this is a very big refrigerator and it's working you full of uh, hmm, meat. See, huh? uh, that's all for today folks so we can save uh, money by using solar power and and transform it into free electricity that's all from now for now and please come again for more videos to come Bye, friends! Anyway, friends, before I forget, we should not use the battery of the vehicle. Any battery of the vehicle. Because it is not designed for solar. From, for transporting the power from solar charge controller to the battery. Never use the, the battery of any vehicle. Always use this kind of battery. Deep cycle. Deep cycle. Lead acid battery. Lead acid battery. We bought that also from Lazada. And then we transfer it from that battery to this. It's a branded battery. What do you call this already? This one? The power inverter. The power inverter. So. That's it friends and we would like to show you that it is not only the electric fan or the the, the, ref. the refrigerator. Show how big is the ref? From afar. What? Oh, that's a big ref. Now here, now here, baby beautiful. It is not only the electric fan and the refrigerator. No, uh, the spinner. But also the spinner and washing machine. At the same time, ah, huh? hmm. hmm? oh, Lamula. Lamusa. Hmm. All, all, all at the same time. Uh, refrigerator, a spinner, electric pan, and washing machine. <laughs> as long as it does not exceed the 1000 watts capacity per hour. Okay. See, let's see, see that how much electricity we can save. We can save. We've been paying 1,005 to 1,008 pesos per month, and now maybe we will only pay about 500 below. But yeah. friends, of course, we use uh, much money also for buying all those things. You try to research from Lazada how much each item it's an 18 month investment from your electricity you will have free electricity for 20 years 25 years okay friends bye for now it's working using the solar oh look that spinning huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay, it's working also. So it's working also. Everything is working. Okay.
start planning for friends